Hey guys, welcome back to Square Box Games. It's Tyler here. I'm in the Square Box Studios, aka my garage, and I've got a fun video for you guys today. So this video is going to be about the unmatched board game. Now specifically, I want to make this video for someone that's maybe just learned about unmatched, is curious about the game, hasn't gotten into it yet, or someone that maybe just played your first game or just found out about it only has one pack or you know has a friend that has it and wants to buy into it so this is going to be a buying guide as of fall 2024 on what to get if you want to play on match now if you don't know much about Unmatch, it is a competitive fighting game where you each have a miniature and their own special deck of cards just for that miniature you pick a character you play as them you get an opponent they play as a character you guys fight each other it's very simple it's quick it's fast-paced very back and forth. You can play games maybe like 15, 20 minutes. It's super fun. Now, it can be a little daunting if you if you look into Unmatch because there are, I think as of right now, 19 different sets that are out with maybe like six or seven more that have been announced or are coming soon. And the game is ever-growing. So it can be a little, I guess, overwhelming to figure out where to start with this game. Now, the, here here's the cool thing about Unmatched. You can buy any set you want. Start with any set. Every single one is completely a self-contained game, except for a couple of minor sets that are just single fighters that I'll get to later. But every single box you see on shelves will be its own playable game. But the main thing about Unmatch is every box is fully compatible with every other box. So if I bought Cobble and Fog here with these four characters, let's say Invisible Man, Jekyll and Hyde, Dracula, and Sherlock Holmes, and I wanted, and I bought this pack as well. Any of the fighters from here can fight those guys and vice versa. You can mix and match as much as you want. Now, the important thing to know, there's really like two main product lines in Unmatch. There's Unmatch, which look like this. And this is the main game. It's a versus game. You can do like two on two, but it is a competitive game where you're playing against each other. And then there's Unmatched Adventures, which is a newer line. What that is, they've basically taken the Unmatched game system and made it a cooperative game where you team up with your friends, and you can also play solo, uh, against a villain that is run by the game itself. So, for instance, this is the first uh, Unmatched Adventures to ever come out. It's called Tales to a Maze. You're fighting against Mothman and aliens, basically. Uh, they aren't considered fighters, they're their own thing, but you, so you've got the two product lines. You've got Unmatched, Unmatched Adventures. That's the most important thing to know. But the main thing is, what do you buy first? Well, this game has mythological characters from the like the public domain. It's got several IPs like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Jurassic Park, Marvel, The Witcher's coming out, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming out. There's a lot. But I would say, with this game... My advice is buy whatever pack first that is most appealing to you. Doesn't matter what it is. If you're really excited about Bigfoot, get Bigfoot. If you're a big TMNT fan, grab that. If you are a Marvel fan, grab one of the Marvel sets. I originally got this game because it had Jurassic Park. There's not a lot of good Jurassic Park board games out there. I mean, there's a few, but there's not many. Um, I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, so when I found out that they had this early on in the game's life cycle, the engine versus the Raptors pack, that's what I went towards. And this right here was a ton of fun by itself, but I knew after the first game that I'm like, this system is great, I want to buy more. And I knew that they also had Bigfoot, so I immediately went out and got the Robin Hood and Bigfoot set. So really, you can start wherever you want. But if I had to pick just one box that's currently out, if I could only get one box for the game and you're looking for like the most complete set and self-contained and one thing it would be this right here the unmatched adventures tales to amaze so the reason i chose this is because it comes with four fighters so it's a big box you get annie christmas jill trent nicola tesla and golden bat a good variety of historical figures versus you know comic characters and stuff like that um that are all playable in the regular unmatched you can play they can all play against each other on a double-sided map here but you also get everything you need to do the cooperative play or solo play against the game. So four fighters, two villains, 
multiple ways to play the game. This is the best purchase you can do for a self-contained, the most bang for your buck in a box. That's this one right here. Now, if you're not interested at all in the cooperative and before this line came out, if I said just pick one, what would be probably the closest to like a starter set if there was any, it would be this one right here. Battle of Legends Volume 1. Now, this was one of the, if not, I think it was the very first pack. It came in the first wave. Um, it has King Arthur, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Sinbad the Voyager, and Medusa, who's a really strong character. Um, this was like the original set. It's four great characters. Uh, some of them aren't as aged as well as others, but another thing this game does is it is really balanced as well. So some of the Older fighters like this in the original box versus some of the new ones, they can go head to head. That's not that's not a big deal. It's not like these older characters are inherently at a disadvantage. Um, but if if you were to say if there's a starter set for just regular unmatch, it would probably be this. Uh, otherwise, there is Battle of Legends Volume Two, which I have somewhere. I have so many boxes as you can see. Battle of Legends Volume Two right here. Um, it's another thing, another pack with like mythological creatures and people. You've got Yanega, Achilles, Sun Wukong, and Bloody Mary in here. This is also a really good pack. Um, they've added a few things. Obviously, new mechanics come out while the as the game progresses. So this is a really good also single purchase if you just want to get one pack to play regular unmatched. Um, you've got a lot, a lot of good stuff in this box. So I would recommend one of the Battle of Legends to start off with. Now, if you know you're going to get into this game. You've already bought a few packs and you're wanting to make sure you don't miss out on anything. You're going to want to focus on some of the older sets that are going out of print or ones that are licensed that are already out of print and probably are never going to come back. So there are two Jurassic Park sets I've got here. There's the Raptors one and you've got Dr. Sattler versus the T-Rex. You're going to want to pick these up if you're a Jurassic Park fan anyway, but both of these are out of print and... With the way the IPs work, they are probably not going to license them again, so you're probably never going to see these printed ever again. Uh, likewise, the Buffy the Vampire set. It's a four-player set. Um, that one's going to be out of print. And there are five Marvel sets, each of them with three characters. Those, I think you can still find as a fall 2024, quite a few of them in stock, but they're going to be out of print soon as well. Uh, otherwise, there are two, two of the rarest things you can get. I mentioned there were two packs that aren't self-contained games, and I think Restoration wanted to get away from that, which is why they haven't made more of these. Very early on in the game's lifespan, they had Bruce Lee as a single fighter, no map or anything, just a fighter. He's very rare, very expensive if you go online. I would not buy him because they have announced that they are reprinting Bruce Lee, and a two-pack with Muhammad Ali, and I think that's coming sometime 2025. I don't know if they announced one in the year. So I wouldn't worry about getting Bruce Lee at this point. He'll be reprinted. And then the other single fighter they made was Deadpool, a very, you know, fan-favorite character. Uh, he was in a single fighter box by himself when the Marvel wave started. Uh, he's out of print. You're not going to find him anywhere new. You'll have to go on eBay or, you know, find a reseller. Um, otherwise... Uh, a couple of the sets that they said are going into the vault, basically. Um, it's not a licensed set, so they can always reprint it later on uh, because they're public domain characters. There's actually two sets. One of them is Bigfoot and Robin Hood. This is one of my first sets early on from the game's lifespan. This is a great set. I love it a ton. Bigfoot is just a lot of fun to, to run around with. Uh, this one is... In the vault, I forget the actual terminology they use, but this does have a chance to be reprinted in the future. This isn't tied to any licensing agreement or anything like that restoration has made. They, they have the ability to reprint this, but it is no longer in production as of right now. So if you find one of these, I would pick it up. The other one that I would almost recommend even more is a big fan favorite is Cobble and Fog. Uh, now this sets, yet again, public domain characters, but it's a very popular set. They could reprint it in the future, but they're not printing it right now. Uh, a lot of people really like this set. Maybe before Unmatched Adventures came out, this would have been the one set that everyone's like, if you're going to buy one set, buy this. You've got Dracula. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde is kind of a character that flip-flops back and forth. Invisible Man. And then Sherlock Holmes, which is a really fun, unique character to play as. Uh, 
So if you can find cobble and fog anywhere, I would grab this right away, especially if you can find it for a reasonable price. So just to recap, if you are wanting to just get one single box with the most well-rounded experience, get Tales to a Maze, the Unmatched Adventures box. They're the ones in the white boxes. Uh, if you are wanting nothing to do with the or the uh, cooperative and you just want the regular Unmatched battling each other, I would recommend getting this right now. It's still in print, Unmatched uh, Battle of Legends Volume 1. Otherwise, I would, if you know you're into this game, I would pick up any of the things that are out of print, any of the IPs that are going away soon or have gone away. That would be Jurassic Park, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, the Marvel sets are on their way out. Now, there's also stuff to look forward to. I'll mention those just while we have each other here. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just got announced. That's going to be the first ever IP for Unmatched Adventures. So what that's going to do is add another set where you've got even more villains to play with. And like I said, any of the villains in here, you can mix and match with any other thing. So if you want Squirrel Girl and Bigfoot to go up against Mothman, you can do that. If you want to have Shredder from uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets when it comes out, the attack by Beowulf and the T-Rex from Jurassic Park, you can do it. So those are going to be coming out. Uh, the Witcher has had a couple sets announced. Forget how many characters... I should know because I, <laughs> I play tested those sets and I already forget how many there were. But those sets are going to be pretty fun, especially if you're into, you know, the Witcher IP. And here's the other thing, too. Even if you're not a big fan of the the property, you know, like I'm not a huge Witcher fan. Restoration Games does a great job. All of the characters are fun to play. So uh, I don't think you can go wrong with a single pack. But I don't want to ramble on too much. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick overview of a buying guide that I would recommend to start with for a couple different things. If you like Unmatch, if you like this content, there's plenty of awesome YouTube channels out there, but I'll go ahead and name drop us again, Squarebox Games. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, we do gameplays, we do tournaments, all that kind of stuff, and we're going to, I think, go into some deeper like character analysis, this fighter analysis, and that kind of fun stuff. But, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know, uh, have you guys bought on Match? Are you looking into getting it? What was your first set that you bought? What was the very first Unmatched product you bought? And also, which one's your favorite? I would love to hear those comments and kind of see what everyone's at. I would say my first box I bought was the Engine and the Raptors pack, and my favorite... It's hard to tell, but I maybe Dr. Sattler versus the T-Rex or the Tales to Amaze. Those are probably my favorite, too. Um, but yeah, I won't keep you guys anymore. Until then, you guys go play some games.